Okay, when I did that other video where I was using the rip chain, what I'm doing is cutting up ash. And in the comments, somebody asked well, how I'm doing it, what I'm using to, to cut that straight of board. And what it is, is that device called a hand lumber maker. Now it uses, you tack a 2x4 on. You'll get a flat surface, tack a 2x4 on, and then it clamps to the bar, and it rides on that, and you can just work it along. Now these things, they've been around for a long time. Uh, Names on it, but um, they're still available. Uh, I think I saw them on eBay for like 50 bucks, and it works really well with the rip chain. This is a, a board I just cut now. They do a nice job, uh, not as nice as you could do with you know, like a bandsaw, but you know, the cheapest bandsaw that really is, is decent is worth buying is like three thousand dollars so these work good enough it's a little bit of work to run them through but if you take your time and you know pick your wood you don't just go at her you know you, you pick a nice grain and stuff you know uh, i always try to avoid not so i end up with just nice clear grain wood because I got a, a project in mind for these. But it does a pretty good job, and this rip chain makes it a lot easier. Because I haven't, you know, I've cut a lot of wood with this and I haven't had to sharpen it yet. But it is just simply a 2 by 4 And tacked on the flat spot. The trick is to get them, you know, get a good straight 2 by 4 I just tack it with one nail on each end and run her through. And it takes a little while, but man, you get nice boards. You know, there are others, like I've looked at those, well, there's a lot of different brands. In fact, there's a different brand of this called a Beam Maker or something, but this is the one that's been around for a long time. First time I saw them was in uh, the original Whole Earth catalog. And they, they do a good job. You know, they... They aren't the easiest thing in the world to figure out how to run. But once you get the system down and, and use a steady hand on it, you can cut good wood because, like say those Alaskan mills where the, the saw is actually running flat, you know, like this and coming through, they use a, a system that you always, it runs on the first surface you cut and it cuts underneath. The problem is if you have an error in there, it's it actually makes the error worse next time and next time. And I've seen where people cut boards that make a twist like this. You know, this thing, if you hold it steady and run it good, it works fine. I've, I've really cut some very nice boards out of this. I've done a lot of this. Before I had one of these, I did the freehand thing, but this, this is much better than the freehand. And the rip chain makes it a lot easier. But I can cut a good, you know, consistent board with it. Because these, like I say, I'm cutting them both three-quarter because I want to make them a half. So when I run them through the planer, they'll be fine. Now, this piece here is about a two-inch, but that was as narrow as I can go and still have a good surface to nail on. Now I'm going to flip that one over and do that one. And I got another one there. But I'm done for the day. But it is tool that is still available and I really don't know that you could you could do it any cheaper but it is funny because I think people always oh you should get a bandsaw like I say the cheapest three thousand dollars even those Alaskan mills now they're two or three hundred dollars and there's a lot of monkeying around with them too this is really if you could just nail that board on cut a flat flip it cut another flat and then start cutting boards you know it it's a lot simpler to set up. All you gotta do is make sure you got a straight two by four.
but I've been happy with it. I think I actually have two of them. I think I got a spare one kicking around. They turn up in auction sales in boxes of junk. I think this was a $5 unit.